So welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 9, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen, well, basically off a cliff of the US dollar index. So it was, it looked like we were making uh, higher lows, but this does not confirm that we're making higher lows. It also looked like we were going to see a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average, but that doesn't seem to be the case either at this current stage. It looks like that US dollar is heading towards the 50 moving average at this point. Technical indicators are all uh, heading um, heading south basically and becoming are basically bearish. So this could have major implication for other commodities, precious metals, uh, stocks, and so on. Stocks will most likely continue rallying as the US dollar start, uh, continues to depreciate. If we fall below the 50 moving average, we can see this basically head back towards uh, 89 or even lower than this. So this was fairly surprising. I was expecting uh, basically a bounce from here and then continue further. But at this moment, the US dollar has basically basically fallen apart and we're trading way uh, underneath the 220 exponential moving average, heading towards the 50 down here at 91. So let's look at oil. So oil has basically been all over the place today. So one interesting thing here is that we may see a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average. So the last time we saw that was basically back here in November. And uh, since then, we basically bought all, we were on this massive rally all the way from uh, $39 up towards $67 before we broke down. So this could be an indication that we'll continue going, uh, going lower, but still it is holding and uh, we have not seen this crossing yet. Technically, indicators they are slowly turning around to the upside. So if we break above the 50 moving average and the 20, then we could head towards 67. So let's look at natural gas, natural gas, sorry. Also here, not a lot of movement, but we can see that we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and 200 moving average uh, basically tomorrow. And that should be a, a very negative sign for natural gas. We are it is found major support here at 2.4778. Uh, we are rallying up towards the middle of the bullish band. And if we get rejected there, we could basically retest these lows. And if that breaks, then we are going significantly lower. Technical indicators are fairly flat at this current stage. So it is basically a waiting game whether or not we have this crossing here and whether or not that basically creates a negative effect to the downside. So let's look at copper. So copper has rallied from the 20 exponential. Nothing is really happening here at this current stage. If you fell towards the 50, then it will be more interesting. We could still fall towards the 50. Um, this probably has also to do that the US dollar is now continuing to depreciate and that should be uh, positive for most of these uh, metals. So technical indicators are all over the place. There are, there's basically Yes, it's a kind of hopeless look at the at, um, technical indicators at this, ca in this case when they are basically all heading in different directions. Otherwise, uh, if we rally from here, then we'll most likely find resistance at the uh, 4.18. And if we break down from here, we'll most likely find support at the 3.95. So let's look at gold. So gold has yet again rallied today. We are trading at 17.55 and we're trading just underneath the 50 moving average and just at the top of the bullish band. If we break above the 50 moving average, then we could head towards 1800. A breakdown below the 20 exponential that could open the door to 1700. So at this current stage, yes, it's just a matter of waiting whether this basically will go. Technical indicators do favor the upside at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver has broken the 20 exponential and now it looks like we're heading towards the 50 moving average at $26. Technical indicators are all turning around. They're all uh, pointing to higher levels and uh, momentum is basically to the upside. 200 moving average um, 
at uh, $24.88 is basically the bottom at this current stage. So let's look at Pallium, Platinum, sorry. So also Platinum uh, doing the same thing and has basically have, has done for the last few months is basically rounding up towards the top of the bridge band and then breaking down towards the middle or towards the bottom. At the moment, we are heading, it uh, looks like we're heading towards the middle, which is at 11.92. Technical indicators are, well, fairly bullish for uh, for Platinum still, even though we have this uh, pullback, but uh, uh, we have had these major rallies to the upside and then major pullbacks and then a gradual uh, or basically snaps towards the upside and then towards the middle of the bullish band and so on. So at this current stage, it looks more like that we're going to head towards the, we are heading towards the top, breaking towards the middle and then continuing towards 14, uh, 1300. So let's take a pallium. So Pallium has rallied and given most of those gains back and uh, it looks like we're just doing more of the same. We're basically falling towards the 20 exponential, rallying up towards the 2700 and then basically breaking down towards the 20 exponential and then continuing on like this. If the 20 exp exponential breaks, then we're heading towards the 50 at 2425. Technical indicators, they are all turning uh, bearish at this point. MACD is still in the in the positive territories because we are in an uptrend, but they are basically turning around at this current stage. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has a gapped higher and then rallied a bit. So it's just doing basically more of the same. Uh, rallies towards the 20 exponential. Uh, 20 exponential, I mean the top of the bullish band, break down towards the middle and then rally again and then just going ping pong within like a channel towards the upside. So at this current stage, it looks like the top of the bullish band around 2282 is going to be the target here before we find major resistance and it most likely will pull back similar to what we saw here and here. Technical indicators are very uh, bullish for uh, aluminium, so uh, they do favor the upside at this current stage. But pullbacks are basically uh, the buying opportunities. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has broken above the 20 exponential and is rallying above the top of the bullish band and getting fairly overstretched at this point. So even though the bullish band is not very wide, it is still we're still trading above it. So technical indicators they are well fairly bullish to be very honest. Uh, MACD is heading towards a positive territory. Uh, the CCI is the stochastic is bullish. CCI is bullish and the RSI is basically flat at this point. So it looks like we are basically heading back towards the 50 moving average up here at 17,300, give or take. And if that breaks, then we will head back towards the very highs. Rejection of the 50 could have, uh, make us go back all the way down to the 200 moving, moving average. And so let's look at sugar. So sugar has rallied up towards the 20, uh, 20 exponential and has basically been, basically been rejected there and that is not a very good sign. So we have been rejected here and also right here and 20 exponential has basically been uh, the resistant barrier for, for sugar. Technical indicators are favoring the upside so if we break above the 20 exponential then we could head towards the 50 at 0 0.1608. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has also rallied up towards the 20 exponential. We have tested this uh, several times in the past. Uh, and if we get rejected here, then we could head to very back to the very bottom of the bullish band or even the 200 moving average rally above the 50, 20 exponential could open the door to the 50. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside at this current stage. We're still in negative territory in here in the, in the MACD. But it's about to cross the signal line and error and the other technical indicator are also pointing to higher levels. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa is basically, well, all over the place again. So we basically broken down quite significantly today, trading at uh, give or take 2.356. And uh, we can see that we have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average. I'll mostly have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average as well for the next few trading days. 
And when we do that, uh, this will basically most likely drop significantly as that is a, basically a, a golden crossing. And usually that means that otherwise it crossing from the downside to the upside is bullish and from the upside to the downside is bearish. So we could see this drop significantly when that occurs. Otherwise, 20 exponential is holding and uh, we're just basically trading sideways at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has rallied above the 20 exponential moving average, heading towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are all favoring uh, the upside at this point. MACD is still in negative territory, has crossed the signal line. So next target here will most likely be the 50 moving average at 641, and then the top of the bullish band at the 650, give or take. Break below here could open the door to the very lows again at around 600. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.